In this lesson, we're going to go over a whole number subtraction across zeros. Whole number subtraction across zeros. And so I'll show you some examples of what that means. All right, here's an example of a problem that we'll encounter where it is that we've got that regrouping across zeros. 1 minus 5 can't do it. So again, we start in our ones place like usual for a subtraction problem. We can't regroup from this tens place. There's no tens to regroup to that ones place. So we'll go to the next neighbor. Hey, we can't regroup from that either. Can't regroup from zero one hundreds. We can regroup from the eight. And what we do is we go from place to place just as we had regrouped before, where we make the eight a seven. And then so those that one thousand is worth ten hundreds. That's why this can become a ten at that point. And then so we continue that process. And so the process goes like this, where 10 of those hundreds then becomes 10 tens. And then since we still want to go to the ones place, 10 of those tens becomes 9 tens, and that 1 becomes 11. Looks like I didn't put a 9 over here. When that 10 became, that 10 hundreds became 9 hundreds to be regroup over there to that tens place. And then, it's just like before, 11 minus 5 is 6, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 3 is 6, and 7 minus 0 is 7, where our answer is 7,626. Alright, we'll do that same thing again. Here's another problem. We'll start with the ones place, 5 minus 7, can't do it. And then so we go to our neighbor, uh-oh, this neighbor doesn't have anything, so that neighbor says, hey, Let's go over to this neighbor over here, the hundreds place. 2 becomes a 1, 0 becomes 10. Now the 10 can become a 9, so that we can go ahead and regroup to that 1's place. 15 minus 7 is 8. 9 minus 1 is 8. 1 minus 2 can't do it. Go to the neighbor. 8 becomes a 7. 1 becomes an 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. And 7 comes straight down there, because 7 minus 0 is 7. 8,205 minus 217 does equal 7,988. Don't believe me? Well, I could just say trust me, but I'm going to go ahead and show you that check. 7,988 plus that 217. 8 plus 7 is 15. 5 regroup the 1. 1 plus 8 plus 1 does equal 10. 0 regroup the 1. 1 and 9 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 2 regroup the 1, 1 and 7 is 8, 8,205. That was my original number right there. So my answer does check. Your turn to try. Go ahead and copy this number down. That's 4,000 minus 2,725. You'll notice I didn't put my commas in this time. Sometimes some books, some publishers, some people will do that. Go ahead and hit pause, and go ahead and solve it for yourself. I'll come back with the solution. All right, you'll notice my regroup here work here. Oftentimes, when students regroup, they won't go through this whole process. They'll just cross things out and say, oh, okay, it's just nines all the way across. That will get you into trouble. Go step by step by step. Now that I have my regroup work in place, my regrouping across zeros, it's very easy. 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 7 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. 1,275 is my difference to that subtraction problem. I'll give you another one to try. And again, in between, right after you see that number written down, go ahead and hit pause, and you can come up with that answer for me, please. There you go. Go ahead and solve that problem, and again, hit pause. All right, for the solution for this one, I'm going to go step by step. In the ones place, 3 minus 4 can't do it. Can't regroup from the tens place or the hundreds place, but can regroup from the thousands place. 6 becomes a 5. 0 becomes a 10, so it can become a 9. And this 0 becomes a 10, so then it becomes a 9, so this 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. 5 minus 5 is 0. 
And you know what? I don't write that zero just so there's no such thing as 007 in math. When I want to write 799, I just write 799. I don't write 0799. I just write 799. Again, this is the difference. It works similarly for money. Go ahead and set this up for yourself. Take a moment to try and solve it. Try, try, try. Think, think, think. Hit pause if you need to. And coming back with the solution. Is my answer, sir, 1,864? Oops, I'm dealing with money. Better remember my decimal point and my dollar sign. Since there's dollars and cents in the original problem, I'm going to have dollars and cents where my decimal point comes straight down and I put my dollar sign right there as well. Dollar sign goes to the far left. I know that there's a lot of kids that want to do this. Especially when they want to say $37. That's not how we write it though. What we write is we write our dollar sign first to indicate it as money and then we write our dollar figure just like we wrote $18.64. If we wanted to write $17, we would write it in that fashion there. Here's one more you try problem. Pause, please. All right, ideally you're right so far. And then I'm going to come back with that solution for the rest of the problem. Ideally, I did my math right. When I have that solution right there, I could actually check my work. Check that difference. I'm going to add it back together with that number that we have subtracted from it, the subtrahend, and add it, that is, because that's the inverse operation of subtraction. Addition is the inverse operation. And if we add it, making careful, really showing our regroups, you'll see if I did it correctly, those numbers will match up. Again, this is our difference or our answer to that subtraction problem. So you know, now know pretty much everything you need to know about subtracting whole numbers. We'll want to make sure to line up our place values, and we'll want to make sure to regroup and going step by step by step. All right, here is your test. Please take a moment to copy them down. Please do write them vertically, and then go ahead and hit pause. I'll come back with your answers. Go ahead and hit pause, and I will come back with your answers. There are your answers for each of those problems. While you're looking at those one last time, I'm going to go ahead and write out one last problem, which we'll go ahead and review. Double check your work. And here's our final problem. 21,030 minus 1,137. 0 minus 7 can't do it. 3 becomes a 2. 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 2 minus 3 can't do it. I can't regroup from the hundreds place, so I go to the thousands place. The 1 becomes a 0. 0 becomes a 10. Now it can become a 9, so this 2 can become a 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 0 minus 1 can't do it, so the 2 becomes a 1, 0 becomes a 10, 10 minus 1 is 9, and we've got that 1 right there, 19,893. Again, this is our difference, 21,030 minus 1,137 equaling 19,893. Regroup across zeros, step by step by step. Always going from one neighbor to the next. That's subtraction with regrouping across zeros. And for the most part, whole numbers, even though we threw in some money there as well.